never would have thought of that himself. Hey, you! Hello, stranger. You must be hungry and thirsty. Perhaps I can interest you in my wares. I was actually on my way to see the Paladins. There's little chance of that. Since the Paladins made themselves at home in the upper end of town, hardly anyone gets in there anymore. Can you help me get into the upper quarter? Me? Nah. I don't have much say here myself. There are a few people in the lower city who have enough influence to get you past the guards. Mateo, my boss, is one of them. Maybe you should talk to him. Where can I find Mateo? You're standing right outside his shop. Just go on in. He's practically always there. I'd have gone about it differently. What about the other influential citizens? The merchants and master craftsmen here on the main street are the most important figures in the city. You should try to get accepted by one of them as an apprentice like me. Since I started working for Mateo, the people in the city treat me with respect. I need some money, and I'm looking for work. I've heard that Bosper has trouble with his suppliers. His shop is right over there. They say he pays pretty well. Why won't they listen to me? What do you have to offer? At the moment, I don't have much choice. The damned landowner doesn't deliver anymore. And what we get from the small farms isn't enough to meet the demands of the city. Tell me more about the peasants' revolt. It's quite simple. Onar, the fat landowner, won't pay any more taxes to the city. Imagine. We're at war with the orcs, and that fat slob wants everything for himself. Normally, the city guard would take firm measures in such cases, but now comes the best part. They say Onar has hired mercenaries to keep the troops from the city off his back. Mercenaries! The whole thing will end in a damn war, as if one war weren't enough. What do you know about Onar's mercenaries? I heard that most of them are former convicts from the mining colony. And their leader is supposed to have been a big shot with the king, a general or something, whom they put away as a traitor. These are terrible times. We can only wait and see. Show me your wares. That was obvious all along. Where did you pick that up then? Will it ever change? Nobody ever asked for my opinion. It's not what I heard. What can I do for you? What are you selling? I can offer you everything you need to survive in the wild. Weapons, torches, provisions, even armor. I still have a special piece in stock. Double hardened armor of snapper leather. Still unused. Interested? What do you know about paladins? Since these bastards have come to the city, I've had nothing but trouble. The last time I was headed for the upper end of town, the guards flat out stopped me and asked me what was my business there. And? Of course they let me in. I had my shop in the city when most of those pompous asses were still chasing pigs with wooden swords. And yesterday, the bastards came and confiscated half of my goods. The paladins seized your goods? Everything I had stored in the backyard. They simply posted a guard in front of the entrance to the yard. If I'm lucky, they won't take everything. At least they might leave the armor here. Can you help me get into the upper quarter? What? What are you going to do there? I've got an important message. Well, well. Have you tried getting past the guards? I don't see why I should even try. You're probably right. I don't know how important your message is, and it's none of my business. But even if you told them that a ship full of orcs just anchored in the harbor, they'd send you away. Because they have their orders. So can you help me get into the upper quarter? It seems to be really important to you. The question is, how important is it to you? What are you getting at? I can help you. After all, I'm one of the most influential people here, but it'll cost you. What are you asking for your help? 100 gold pieces. That's a whole damn lot. Take it easy. It isn't your gold I have in mind. But? In principle, it's my gold. 
Greta, the carpenter's niece, hasn't paid what she owes me in ages. But the little brat is constantly running around in new clothes. That means she has the money. I'd like to beat it out of her. But Master Thorben, the carpenter, is also a very influential man. Get me the money and I'll help you. Where can I... Like I said. How exactly can you help me? Quite simple. I'll use my influence to see to it that one of the master craftsmen here takes you on as an apprentice. As such, you'll practically be a citizen of the city and can enter the upper quarter. Besides which, you'll earn something while you're at it. Help me sign on as an apprentice with one of the masters. One thing at a time. First of Might have gone about it differently. Welcome to my shop, stranger. I am Baspa. I craft bows and trade in furs. Hey, what brings you to Carinus? I'm looking for work. Hmm. I could use a new apprentice. The last one just gave up his job two days ago. Do you know anything about hunting then? Well... I could teach you how to skin animals. I'll pay you well for every skin you bring me. What if I want to sign on with one of the other masters? Uh, Boulder Dash. Harrod and Mateo already have apprentices. Constantino the Alchemist is a loner, and he hasn't taken an apprentice in years. And as for Thorben, everyone knows he's dead broke. He probably couldn't even pay you. I, on the other hand, am in urgent need of an apprentice, and I pay well, too. But no matter where you want to sign on, you need the approval of all other masters from the lower part of town. Will I get your approval to sign up with a different master? Uh, all right. Work for that way, and you know, if... Why did your approval... His neck... I... Where you... Show me your wares. Hey, you! Ah, fresh face. You're not from Carinus, are you? This is not a good time for travelers. Bandits everywhere. No work, and now the farmers have risen up too. What winds have blown you here? I'm looking for work. Do you know anything about carpentry? The only thing I can make out of wood is a fire. And what about locks? Well... I'm sorry, but I can't use you if you know nothing about my trade. And I have no money to pay for an apprentice. What if I want to start an apprenticeship with one of the other masters here? All right, I shall give you my approval. But you had better get yourself the blessing of the gods first. Say, are you a man of faith? Yes, a most humble servant, Master Thorben. Then go to Vatras, the priest of Adenos, and have him give you his blessing. He will tell you where you can find a priest of Innos. You should get his blessing, too. Once you have received the blessing of the gods, I shall vote for you. So, you know a lot about locks. Can you sell me some lock picks? Well, all right, but they won't be of any use to you as long as you don't know how they work. Hey, you! 
I've come about Gritta. My niece? What's your business with her? This isn't about money, is it? She owes 100 gold pieces to the merchant Matteo. Tell me this isn't true. Ever since that little piece of work moved in with me, I've had nothing but trouble. She's in debt with practically every single merchant in town. I had to borrow 200 gold pieces from Lamar, the moneylender, just to settle her debts. And now this. Gritta should be in the house. Go ahead, ask her. But I tell you this, she doesn't have a single gold piece. We shall see. Hey, you! I'm looking for work. Hmm. I could use a new apprentice. Brian will have finished his apprenticeship soon, and then he'll leave the city. Are you good for anything? If you mean, do I know blacksmith's work? No, that's not what I meant. Sooner or later, the orcs are going to lay siege to the city, and then the only men who will count will be those who are in a position to defend our city. And I won't take on anyone as an apprentice who will disgrace me by fleeing the city with the women and the good-for-nothings, instead of holding the fort here with the men. I'm not a good-for-nothing. Those are big words. Can you back them up with big deeds? What are you getting at? Bring me an orc's weapon. Orcs have been seen near the city. With a bit of luck, you won't have to search for long. If you manage to bring one down, I'll take you on as an apprentice, provided the other masters agree. Can I sign on as an apprentice with a different master? The other masters may well approve, but I will only give you my approval when you first prove that you're good for something. Can I the other man? Do you sell? Forget it. I have a commission for one. Hey, you! New in the city. What? what? Why not? Can I? Not really. I'm me. The weapons are me. But if it has. What can I, I can sell you some stuff? What do you want? I'm not giving anything away. I'm looking to become an apprentice. Really? And with whom are you going to sign up? I want to sign up with one of the other masters. You have come to ask my approval? Hmm. As far as I'm concerned, you can sign up with whoever you like. I'm in need of healing. Why? Are you injured? Yes. There's barely a scratch on you. Can I sell you some herbs? If you have any to offer. I want to sign up with you as an apprentice. With me? No! I have already had the dubious pleasure once of grappling with an apprentice. That's quite enough for me. I invested several years in his education, and in the end, the poor fool up and poisoned himself. 
Go sign up with one of the other masters. What will I have to do to become your apprentice? <sighs> I couldn't bear yet another dilettante on my conscience. There is a multitude of herbs out there. Used in different variations, they develop the most diverse effects. You probably don't even know half of them. <sighs> Here. This is a list of the most important plants. Bring me a plant of each kind, and I might reconsider taking you in as an apprentice. Adonis feared for the day in which the beast would return to the land. Adonis be with you. Who are you? I am Vatrus, a servant of Adonis, the guardian of the divine and earthly equilibrium. What can I do for you? Tell me about the Ring of Water. And why would I do that? Cavalorn sent me to you. And what did he tell you? He said you're in dire need of more good people. Aha. Uh -huh. So you want to join us, son? Here, I've got a letter for you. For me? Indeed. This is an important message you're bringing me. I wonder how you got hold of this letter. I got it from Cavalorn, the hunter. Cavalorn? Where is he? He told me to tell you he couldn't make it and is headed for the meeting point. Whatever he meant by that. I see that you have gained Cavalorn's trust. That speaks in your favor. Tell me about... And why would I... I want to join the Ring of Water. You do? That means you have already fulfilled the first requirement. What do you mean by that? I mean there must be someone among us who trusts you. Otherwise, you wouldn't even know about it. But I know nothing... What do you want to know? I carry an important... What is this message? A large dragons? Zardas, the, the necromancer. So he lives. I'm a former. Good. You are a former who has been told by Zardas, the necromancer, that dragons and you have. That all sounds rather fantastic. Therefore, I must assume that your motives. I want to give you a. What? Know that you take on great... I do not let just anyone... If you want to join the ring, you... And that me... Before we let a young man... Only then can I begin... To... I have thanked... My ears here, including the story... I have not heard... That can... I have... Even if you can... The great event... All the... The band... So what would be... Corinus is facing a group. The number of people... If you... However... You... I but Lord... He yes, he will. No doubt about it. Provided you become a... The ring... With you. What... Can there are only three... I shall... I'm asking your blessing. Why should I give you? I want to start in a pro.
Wait, if you see Laris, give him this ornament. And so he bade Enos to leave a part of his power in his One lesson. Well. Hey, you. What can I do for you? Are you see? I've come to get your. That's good. Actually, I wanted your blessing so I can sign on as an apprentice. But my son, how else? So, how much? Well, mm -hmm. you have more. I bless you in the. N I in I But the light was a torment for Beliar. All that Inos created was destroyed by Beliar. I'm she that's yes that what Yes, I, but I don't want to do that. Get that from me. But you need to be a. a he doesn't see that. I can't help. He, 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 they can't go on. Who was that? That doesn't surprise me. How strange. Well, well. Who are you? What? what? I don't see. I don't see. Can you make my services are yours for a modest? How much do you want? For a poultry, but remember. Tell me about the future. All right. They are got men in shining fire. What he is some. I'm so. Hey, you.
Hey, you! How's it going? You're not from around here, are you? Never mind. Neither am I. Where did you hang around before? In the woods, hunting scavengers and wolves, together with some hunters. But I gave it up. These are dangerous times. There's a lot of riffraff running around out there. Where can I find the other hunters? We had our camp outside near the tavern, halfway to Onar's farm. But I don't know where there is anyone left in the camp now. There used to be two of us here in town, until a few days ago. My friend Trokar is an excellent hunter. So, where is your friend Trokar now? Well, it's a curious story. Only a few days ago, we were both standing at the bar in Corrigan's Tavern, discussing the hunt. Don't ask me what happened next. I had had a few by then. I vaguely remember Trokar saying that he was going out to get a few swamp weed reefers. He never came back. Didn't you go looking for him? No, but I reported it to the militia. But they haven't been able to find him yet. I'm afraid that I'll stumble over his body some. I don't think I... Where does... Can I... I want... Oh. Hey, Hear you! Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree is hereby enacted. Boss, yes, I From did. this moment I... onward, Can you Lord tell... Andre yeah. will Does take the... the supreme command of our militia. All the citizens of this Why city who go have hunt? martial oh. skills at their disposal you know are anything? here with I mean, urge you know to join how... the no. royal militia. Come back when you... What do you want, stranger? If you've come to beg, I must disappoint you. I am a poor widow. My name is Greta. Ever since my husband died, I have been running the household for my uncle Thorobin. Mateo sent me. You still owe him some gold. He wants his money? What for? The goods he delivered were flawed, bad fabric, and bad seams. And did you look at the colors? Those are not the colors I ordered. That's fraud, that is. Let me tell you, back when my husband was alive, he wouldn't have dared to do that. Oh, my poor husband. Cut it out. Where's the gold? But I don't have the gold. I'm only a poor widow. Then we'll simply sell a few of your togs. I'm sure you've still got a bunch of stuff in your closet. How dare you, uncouth lout. All right, here, take the gold. See, that wasn't so hard. And now will you please... But so great was the wrath of Steliar that he came across the land and told the land. Hey! Your niece had 100 gold pieces. What? The brazen little serpent. That was my gold. She took it from my chest. Give it back to me. I have to pay off Lamar first. Mateo can get his money later. Here's your gold. Thanks. Now I have at least part of the money I owe Lamar. I can't. 
can't believe she had the audacity to take my gold. How about your approval, Master? Has Vatras given you his blessing? Yes. And did you also get the blessing? Yes, I did. Then you sh He never would have thought of that himself. Can you- You have brought me the 100 gold piece. I am almost in- If I cannot pay, give me another 100 gold. Maybe he never would have thought of that again. Just like you said. I've hope Show me you. I want to s before I take you on. What do you want? I will teach you how to s then I'll know if it doesn't take or teach me how to skip. Right. You take a sh bring. Hey, you! Why don't we- Hmm, do you know it? I mean, do you- Yes. Alright, that's a fair- Where then? You- What? Mm. Do you know any- I'm- Yes. Alright, but I wanna see if that's a fair- Where- Show me your... On the gate, hey, are you to interpret the law in the strictest sense in order to yes. prevent unauthorized entry. Here they are. Let's go hunting. All right, follow me. Probably more. And Adonos was pleased with what had arisen. He delighted in all the beings equal. I don't know why he gets so worked up. That's really not my problem. Don't say you didn't know that.
So much for you, filthy. All right, so much for you. <laughs> Nothing to be had there. So, what do you think? Should we go farther into the woods or not? Let's go on. All right. Let's hope this works out. So, what do you... Let's go on. All right. <laughs> All right. So much for you, filthy beast.
That's it, I'm going back to the city. It's just too dangerous out here for me, even with two of us. An orc, right outside the city, holy shit. So, see ya. You can sell the skins to Bosper. Here's your 100. And? Did she cause any problems? None to speak of. Good. You've held. Help me, son. Don't worry. The other mask. Is there a. Perhaps. If I. We're the basically that one. But. Cut you, but. Show me. About the wolf skin, I've got them. Great! Here's the pay I've earned. I've got the orc weapon you wanted. Show me. It's been a while since I've had a weapon like this in my hands. I was a soldier back in the orc war. Those were tough times, I can tell you. I didn't think you could do it. I'm impressed. Can I sign on as an apprentice with a different master? You're a good man. I'll give you my approval. Brian will still be here for a while. And 